Okay, my friends, my favorite subject, dark matter. This is going to be fun, fun, fun. All right, listen to this now. This just came out today. Semi, this is 28th of May, 2023. Semi-visible particle jets. <laughs> is dark matter hiding in plain sight? Absolutely. All right, you, they said a jet particle stream. That's exactly what you got here. That's just like a jet fighter going through the atmosphere, breaking the speed of sound, only we're breaking the speed of light. And we are literally doing that. That's accelerating in the atmosphere, not in a vacuum. This is in the atmosphere, accelerating because it has to through that venturi. Now, they, everything they claim about this is happening. And now we will see the dark particles but you can only see them because of this jet stream. All right, listen to this now. This Atlas collaboration pioneered the search for semi-visible jets, a potential dark matter signature arising from dark quarks and gluons in a strongly interacting dark sector. I will show you this actually happening. Despite the challenges and no direct findings, they couldn't find them, we found them. This novel research sets the first limits on semi-visible jet production, paving the way for more nuanced dark matter searches in the future. And it's already here, and we can very easily see it. They just disregard it. All right, I'm just going to cut to the chase. We found the dark matter long ago. We accelerated light using a Venturi. When we did, the particle actually displayed itself, and we could see the black and white particle. It split right there, and we could see the dark matter. Not only that, I can tell you for basic fact, it is extremely attractive. And this was a, a, a issue I had with everybody right along, you know, all these top people, they say, oh, no, no, it's weakly attractive, and, and uh, you can't, you're never going to see it, and we don't have any idea, and you're a nutcase, and da 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 I said, no, look at this stuff. I showed this, this goes back to 2015. It goes back to 2015, and, you know, you get no audience. But this is what they're talking about now, is this jet particle stream being able to see the dark matter just laying on top of it because we have separated it so that it can lay on top of the white matter and block the white matter. Because dark matter will not absorb, it will not emit, it will not reflect. It's just a ball of dark matter. But it always had white around it, so we could never see it. But when you get down into the light realm, there's not enough white surrounding it. You can see the actual particles of black and white. And here they are right here. And this is right up close and personal. Where is it? This is what's happening right there. There's the black particles right there. All the same size. Now, this is my dipole flood theory. It's atomic dipole flood theory. I've mean, got some books out. We're going to get, really get into this because physics has to change. A lot of things have to change, but we have to be able to discuss them before they can change. And this has been a problem. You cannot present anything. Like Max Planck says, science advances one funeral at a time. Once a guy gets in control, he's in control. And if you come up with something... <laughs> They squish you like a z-bug. Now, that is your dark matter right there, and that is gravity, and that wants nothing more in life than to be attached to white. But you can't get through, because this slit is tiny, and it's a venturi, and the black is going bam, 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 squirting it through here. And then immediately it reattaches. These photos were taken not by flushing any energy into this. We're absorbing energy coming out. This is with CMOS. CMOS is a receiver of energetic particles, and it turns on pixels, and, and it was just nothing more than a smartphone. And this particular smartphone, I don't know what I'm telling you, oof, it, it, this is the selfie side of the smartphone. Rod Warren did these absolutely phenomenal work he did. And, you know, he should be recognized for this, because this is dark matter. It's dark matter. And this is fission. And that's fusion. Now, he he just was just posting crazy looking pictures on the internet, and everybody sort of laughing, saying, "What is this crazy stuff?" And I knew what it was. So this made my atomic theory work 
because I always knew it, but I couldn't prove it. Now I got knowing it and proving it. See, this is my vision of a free energy. If we can get all this stuff going, it's got to be looked at. Th this here, if that's the energy they're talking about, electron showers is just an immense amounts of energy. And you could put it through a photo diode and it gets through and it can't come back out. You stick it here in the batteries, wherever you want to use it. Use a little bit to keep the laser going. Put them in a box like this. You could have literally thousands of those in here. So you should be able to get some energy out of this. This, I believe, is a hell of a lot of energy. I can't be certain because I don't have the facilities and the resources to, to investigate this. But if they're spending billions of dollars on CERN and um, Fermilab and places like that, they're just walking around in circles. They have no idea what they're doing. They literally have no idea what they're doing and do not want to know. That's what I found. They don't want to interact whatsoever. If what I haven't shown you, you they're now going into my realm. They're, they keep getting a little closer, a little closer. And now they're talking about these jets and showing up these particles, the dark matter. It's just they nibble away and nibble away and nibble away. We're never going to get anywhere. I'll be long dead by the time we get anywhere with any of this stuff. <laughs> they just, it's glacial. And, and, and the glaciers are, are, are melting faster than science now. <laughs>